Kailangan ng interventions that involve a whole-of-government approach as well as immediate solutions outside of the current bureaucratic framework. Ito po ang rasyonal ng pagbuo ng task force. Yung pagbuo po ng more permanent body that will focus and develop expertise on post-disaster rehabilitation and recovery of typhoon-hit areas is necessary even before the enactment of a law creating the Department of Disaster Resilience. This body will have a clear chain of command and a direct mandate to address and monitor the multifarious issues and concerns involved in the rehabilitation and recovery phase of typhoon-affected areas. Dahil dito, pinag-utos po ng Presidente ang pagbuo ng task force na pinamumunuan ni Executive Secretary na kung saan ang mga miyembro ay iba't ibang ehensya ng pamahalan. Kasama po ang DA, ang DPWH, ang Department of Budget and Management, ang DSWD, ang NIA, ang National Electrification Administration, National Housing Authority, among others. Nagbigay din po ang direktiba ng ang Pangulo sa Philippine Air Force, Philippine Navy, and Philippine Coast Guard na magbigay ng assistance dito po sa nasabing task force. Nanawagan din po ang Presidente sa mga lokal na pamalhaan na tumulong po sa task force. Build back better ang magiging tema ng ating recovery and rehabilitation efforts na nakaangkla sa restoration and transformation of vulnerable areas to more resilient, integrated, and sustainable communities. Towards this objective, Immediate actions such as relief assistance shall be aligned with the medium and long-term action of rehabilitation of damaged infrastructure, development of communities, and construction of housing for affected families.